Hello. So yeah, this is the uh, iPad. Oh, sorry, iPhone 5 that was sent in for repair. Um, has a backlight issue. I don't know if you can see. This it's not activated yet. Um, it shows up. You can see. It's not so easy to see with the camera, but you can see it in person. Uh, it definitely has a backlight issue. It says hello in the center. See? It says hello. And hola. Hola. So basically, yeah, this I, iPhone and it says ni hao in Chinese. This iPhone and now it says hello. Anyway, so this iPhone is uh, not activated. And when you boot into the computer, you can see that it is require activation. This iPhone currently require activation. Okay. So now clearly the problem is the backlight. So the customer sent it, this iPhone in states that this iPhone has water damage, but as far as he can tell me, um, this iPhone only had the backlight issue. Does not mean anything else? So that's good news. That means we can possibly fix it by replacing the backlight components. So first of all, we want to do is unplug the battery so we don't find anything else. Once you remove the power plug, then you can remove anything you want, like uh, any other connectors on the wall, as long as you don't break anything. Alright, so let's get started with the repair. Let me get this out of the way for you, so you can see. Life of myself. go light and I'm gonna focus see what I'm doing here all right I'm gonna zoom in to where the action's at so you can see better so I'm gonna change the fix the backlight circuit before I do that um, I want to did it test it. Um, I'll do that later. I know I already can see visual, just one visual inspection which part needs to be definitely changed. So let's get that first. Alright. I'm starting on to pick. I'll be using my own soldering iron tip. So I made this uh, copper soldering iron tip myself. They were designed specifically for this type of repair. One thing you want to make sure though, like you see these connectors, it's best to um, put them on the side. That way they don't get in the way. So I'm going to unconnect them and I'll connect back once you finish the repair, otherwise they're getting in the way. And you don't want to burn anything. All right. Let's come back to it out of the way because I don't want to burn it. Damage. There we go. Alright. So I already put some flux on it. On the board. Focus. Doing a little more so you can see better. Okay. So yeah, it's very difficult to do this repair without a very fine tip um, soldering iron, like the one I'm using right now. It's not impossible. So I had to make it myself basically, since they don't sell anything like this. Oh, we sell it at our store, subadagalc.com, but before I make it, there's nothing available. There we go. So there goes the filter. Okay, I'm gonna change this filter right now. Then I'm gonna look for my multimeter. Since I don't have one on. Put 
table that I can see, I don't look for it. Uh, I, from, just from visual inspection, I suspect it's really just this blacklight shelter instead of everything else. Hopefully that's the case, that made my life easier. Oftentimes that's not the case. Oftentimes you have to change everything, like the backlight IC, backlight uh, coil, and all that stuff. Which is on the other side of the board, it can be a pain in the butt to do that. This will be a lot easier. So yeah, without the copper tip that we sell, or the one I make, um, this will probably be pretty difficult, it's really small. I don't know if you can fully appreciate how small it is with uh, the camcorder here. I'm trying to focus really. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Nope, doesn't really focus on its own. Anyways. If you make it too, the higher gun too high, you can easily damage the plastic components that's on the board and then all these FPC connectors. But if you don't make it high enough, it won't melt the solder that's already on the board. So it's kind of catch-22. Um, so once you do that, I just want to let it cool down a little bit. But in the meantime, you can plug in back the connectors. Just don't plug in the battery because you don't want any short circuit that uh, fights the board. As long as there's no circuit on the board, you can do whatever you want. You can unplug, plug, whatever you want. Alright, so now I want to get my screen ready. Set it up. Uh, in a bit. I can wait. So right now I'm going to wait. Let's wait till, you know, it cool down a little bit. There's no definite how many minutes you want to wait for it. It's really you touch it, still hot, then give us a few seconds. Alright, seems to be okay. I didn't put too much heat on it. It'll be very gently. Put this on board. Alright. And now I can put the battery back in. Gently. I don't want to have to change the battery connector. Alright, so now I'm gonna plug in the lightning connector to the computer. This way that the iPhone can turn on. And hopefully I fix the issue. There we go. Ta-da! We got backlight fixed. So that was that was lucky. I didn't have to change a lot of the components. Um so yeah. Testing. The trick of these 
connector is that you need to fail for it. So tactile sensation is very important. There we go, perfect. It lights out just fine. So the, the, earlier you saw like a line on the screen. I think the problem is these connectors is so overused for testing. Uh, eventually developed develop defects. Initially it was working just fine, but um, after a while it gets stuck. Yeah. Um, not a big deal, I can just clean this connector and it will work just fine or I can replace it with this new one but anyway, the point is that the backlight is fixed and that's why this phone was sent in the first place and, and that will conclude for our backlight repair phone drawer um, thank you for watching, this is an iPhone 5 backlight repair we do also the backlight repair in Cyberdark LLC repair shop uh, we do all the iPhones um, we do iPhone 4S and iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, 5C, uh, iPad back, backlight for iPad 2, iPad 1, iPad 3, iPad 4, iPad 5th generation, iPad Air, and iPad mini 1 and 2 of the Retina display, and also iPad Air. Uh, we can also do iPad, uh, iPhone 6 if you happen to break that backlight. But I don't think anyone break it so far. I don't get any for iPad 6. Uh, sorry, iPhone 6. So yeah, thank you for watching and that will be the end of our iPhone 5 backlight repair. So yeah, send in your iPhone 5 and we can fix it if you have a backlight issue. Um, visit us at cyberdocllc.com and if you would like to do this repair yourself, you can always buy our iPhone backlight repair kit. It comes with the alloy and flux we use in this repair. And I, I really like the flux I use since like I mix them myself. Um, they they are not conductive. They're not corrosive. I know exactly what's in it, and the not acidic. It's not corrosive at all, and it gets the job done for a surface amount of it. Okay, thank you for watching. Visit us at cyberdogllc.com.